Oh, what a beautiful morning it is here in Iowa. Let's get to it. So if you're following the series, we are farming in the 80s. It is 1989. The year is, and man, am I ready to get into the field. So, uh, most important thing, so I'm going to have to get this, uh, my 4840 out again. So I still got plenty of chi chisel work to do. This thing is working great, but... One of the things I need to do today is the 4755, fresh off the factory floor, is ready for pickup, finally. So I talked to Jake, and he actually allowed me to leave it over there. So I had to per pay for transportation. If you don't know, DOT stopped me while I was pulling it here. Uh... Yeah, they gave me a huge fine. I had to per pay the fine $500. That is one heck of a bummer. But my uh, brakes on my trailer weren't adequate, so they're just making sure I was safe. But I'm so excited to get my uh, brand new off of Waterloo, Iowa. 4755 just built down the road here oh man can't wait to get that 4755 has a uh, souped up John Deere six cylinder 7.3 liter ooh man I just can't wait to go pick it up so I need to get this international started hook it up to my trailer and hopefully go down there and uh, pick it up. Oh yeah, this thing's brand new. It better start up. So we're gonna go over here. Uh, I also picked up a uh, planter, a uh, big eight-row planter. So pretty big for 1980. Eight-row was so it is a Kins planter. So, uh, it actually has the option to be put on a uh, fertilizer while you're planting. So, let's see, can I pull this out? So, I did, uh, I have my uh, gravity box parked in here. So, this is nice and tight, if you can see it. Man. Hopefully, I'm going to have to pull it out nice and straight. It does look like I have a lot of room to turn it, so the problem is, is I'm going to have to crank it over once I get to my door, the shed. Back this old truck up. Alright, time to turn on the lights. Time to kick the tires because it's ready to go. Alright, looks like all of our tires are filled up. All of our lights are working. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, you know, being that I was already stopped once. I don't want to have to stop again by the DOT. Alright, pull this out. Gotta pull. Ooh. Gotta back it up there. Hopefully. Ooh. Uh oh. I think I touched my Alice right here. Well, didn't damage that tire, I don't think. Yeah, this is one heck of a tight. Probably need to purchase a gooseneck one of these times. Pull 
pull this out, and then I'll shut the door. We'll be ready to go on our way. So we are going to take our little scenic route here through the woods, through the little valley cutout, over to our uh, neighborhood co-op. road is a little bouncy. I probably need a hard uh, pack this road sometime to make it more safe. Uh, means I'm gonna be uh, pulling a brand new tractor and planter. I think I'm gonna take the hard pack road uh, just north of this. Can't remember that road's name. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn this one wide right here. Pulling into town. I'm still a little new to the area, so I don't really know the best routes of travel. Hope I'm going past the chapel. Uh, not that way. Uh, I'm a little lost. It's like we're by the courthouse here. I think I'm in going the right direction. So we purchased this, uh, sent, I mean, we purchased this 4755. Basically, like I said, it just got off the assembly line. And man, oh man, is it nice. I'll have to show it to you. So, this cost us seventy three thousand dollars it's a 4755 it has about 180 horsepower it has the John Deere six cylinder engine in it Ooh, I think I turned into the wrong turn here go by oh see it in front of us right up here gonna come up Ooh, I'm gonna have to walk out for this pawn this might be tricky Ooh. might have to end up going over that scale there oh wow you can see uh, I am not doing a good job. Ooh, hopefully I don't get stuck here. In the water. Just backing up here. Ooh, looks like we actually have a little lip here and we might use it for advantage. Alright been wanting to show you this so here's our 4755 we purchased man so it does have a front tank and it has lights or headlights on the front of it, it has a full weight set it's a four wheel four forward wheel assist tractor look at all that fresh paint it has weights on the back has a quick attach hitch. That extra tank capacity and this the fuel efficiency of this uh, six cylinder engine, we should be able to go almost forever in the field. We might not have to fill this tractor up for you know two days when we are uh, plowing. 
So this is kind of going to be uh, my smaller tractor, so I I believe this in the 4840 are similar in horsepower, just a few horses off, but which is kind of unfortunate because we kind of needed a bigger tractor. I just couldn't uh, afford the 4955 this year, so I decided to get this. Uh, you know, with the 80s crisis going on, it just coming out of basically the 80s crisis years where the, you know, our uh, crops prices went way down, is I just can't split that bill just yet. I thought this tractor might be good as a bailing rig too, so I can just take the duels off, I can use it to bail, possibly. Uh, just to assist in case my I'm gonna mostly use that uh, Alice I have back there at the farm we got this eight row planter here we got this set up with uh, fertilizer tanks and everything so I know I know actually I'm pretty sure Kinsey still makes this planter this uh, Kinsey 3000 but uh, I know they the production years of this planter have been, I mean, there's a lot of production years. So eight row, six row were kind of the norm in the 80s. So I thought this would be good. I couldn't find really a good six row that wasn't a split row. So I know they didn't have the split rows really that, well, they weren't that pot or they weren't that prevalent in the 80s, but I think this will be all right. So we got a lot of land ourselves to plant and we got some rental land we'll have to plant so we kind of need a bigger planter than a six row the you know eight row will be you know basically what 33 percent quicker did i figure that or 25 25 percent quicker for us hopefully so it does have, the box units do have extensions on there. So hopefully this will work, but please forgive me. I know it's a little bit too new, but couldn't find one within the 80s. So this cab smells just like it just got off the factory floor. Sm new car smell. Let's start this up here. Got all them digital controls. Man, are we fancy now. Does have uh, power shift in it. Try to drive it up on this trailer here. Nice and slow. I was worried about this uh, planter being able to fit on this trailer. I mean, that's this uh, planter you can't fold up, so. I think that should be about right. All right, so I'm gonna turn my hazards on. Just because I'm extra wide, I do have the hazards on on my the tractor and the planter. All right, we are going to slowly pull out of here. Ooh, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I got plenty of room over there. A little bit uneven of a path here. All right, no one coming. Let's see if I can remember the right path. All right, we are going all right. Don't want to lose anything here. The werewolf tracks get awful bumpy. Got a few signs to miss here. All right, 
Looks like ooh, we're awful close. We're gonna miss him. Good thing is there is no one around. I think we're gonna do a l illegal uh, turn off here. Yep, that was a little bit illegal. All right. Now we should just be uh, able to go home. Oh, I don't think I'm that high. Ooh, hopefully. Ooh, ooh. Guess I was kind of high. Oh, 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 put, put it. Oh, oh man. Oh, I lost. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. That ain't good. That ain't good. Oh man, I had lost that. Oh, oh, wow. Whew. That thing is way down here. Oh, man. Wow, that is one deep ditch. Man, I can hardly walk up this thing. I am so glad that thing didn't tip over. Oh, man. I think I'm going to... I do not want to get into this tractor, but I think I'm going to try to back it up here. Just to s hopefully I can get it up the hill. Whew. Man, I'm just sitting at right on. I am sitting on my armrest right here. And this is... Man, I paid $20,000 for this planter. $70,000 for this tractor. Ooh, man. Oh, 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 man, I'm spinning. Uh... Man, there is no one coming down this road. I think I'm going to have to end up climbing this hill, going all the way back, and uh, go and get my truck, and hopefully try to get help. I can't get this thing. I'm too nervous. I'm just going to go all the way down and end up wrecking into the bottom here. Uh, and then I'll really have a hard time getting this uh, tractor out. Because uh, I think we're right at the limit there, but I think I'm going to climb, basically climb over this hill. I just have one field to walk across, and I should be to my house. Oh, man, this is bad. Oh, oh. These hills are so tall. Oh, I see my barns almost there. Ah. At least it's flatter ground going the rest of the way. Whew. Finally. Made it. Almost. Just got a little bit farther to go. Uh, Alright, finally made it to our truck. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so we'll get over there. Assess the situation a little bit more. Ooh, I think I forgot to grab a tire. Need a tire to put on the semi. Go get that. Assess the situation, and I'll probably get a wrench too and a jack. Hopefully, we can uh, get that loaded back up. All right, got it all loaded already. Should be ready to go now. Head on down here. Ooh, man, this is not what I was hoping for today. I was hoping to get in the field right away, and I almost ditched my tractor all the way. I just hope it doesn't slip further down that uh, ditch. Still no one on the highway. Man. Sure is bad when you can't flag somebody down to help you out. Yeah, this is one heck of a, a grade here. Ooh, there we are. We finally got to our truck. So basically, my tire blew out, and I just couldn't hold the truck on the line. I just barely saved it right at the end of going in the ditch. Alright, so we got the truck 
tire fixed. Uh, so now I need to go down here and hopefully find a tow company that can help me out. I'm gonna go ask at the gas station down here. I guess I could have probably just drove down or walked down here to the gas station and uh, used their uh, phone. Alright, so we hopefully this uh, loader or this tow truck can pull this out of here. As you can see, I kind of tore apart the whole ditch when I was going down there. So, oh man, this is going to be tough. We're definitely going to have to back him up. Possibly put him right here. Maybe weight him down with our uh, international here. Probably might be smart to weigh him down there a little bit. He's not the biggest tow truck. But most likely about where the straight back would be the best. So I'm going to hook a chain basically to sideways of this truck just to help uh, support that uh, tow truck or truck while it's winching it up so it don't go down the hill. Put a chain right across here. Man, now I gotta walk this cable down here. Ooh, man, I'm still sitting on the armrest here. Let's see if we can uh, start backing this old girl up. Oh, man. Man, we spinning now. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like we got a little bit. We made headway. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is a steep part here. Ooh, oh, man. Ooh. Wow, am I steep right here. Ooh, I am almost got my feet on the front windshield here. Oh, man. I'm not getting any headway. We might have to just hook our uh, international up and just yank this thing out. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 I think I got it. Ooh. Oh, man, did I break anything on this thing? Oh, man. Ooh, not even a scratch. Can you believe that? Wow. Man. Wasn't expecting not a scratch on this thing. Oh man, I'm gonna. You know them when you get butterflies. Ooh, ooh, man, I almost hit that sign right there. Better watch out. I was trying to swing it around to get it ready to load. I don't give you plenty of room here. Alright, we'll try to load this one more time and find... Ooh, did I set the brakes on the truck? Hopefully we can load this for the last time today. Alright, so we're headed out again. Hopefully we can make it all the way home now. Take it nice and slow going up these windy roads. I don't want another tire ruining our rest of our day. Alright, so we got to get this unloaded. I think I'm going to try to back it up into my garage just to make sure the planter is good to go. Here come here in a few days. We can start planting our corn. did drive our uh, 1970 Ford back. We just walked back over there and uh, picked it up. Didn't want it sitting on the side of the road too long. Try to back this thing up. Ooh. Looks like we just barely fit in there. Which is good. 
Alright, we got the planter unhooked. Like I said, it's really hard to find a planter in the 80s or older. So, we're going to end up doing this because it doesn't really have that new a technology on it. And it should be just the same technology they had in the 80s. Alright, so I got this old, so this chisel has definitely seen its day. But I do like the rolling baskets and the tines on the back of this. Uh, hopefully we can upgrade this sometime, but it still has pretty good teeth on it. So I am going to get the 4840, fire that up again, and I'm going to chisel up, and then I'll be following with the cultivator. I did call this a cultivator, and I think I called it a chisel. It's, it's a cultivator, not uh, chisel. But let's shut off this, get this started. All right. Ooh. Hopefully I can get it out of here. Well, I should be able to. So, I did look up these buildings, and they did have models of these buildings back in the 80s. They are late 80s. Same with that building. So, uh, the newer buildings, basically the nice and square frames or uh, straight frame buildings like this, they did have them out in the... 80s. Uh, there wasn't a lot of tin buildings, but they were being built for cold storage and shops like that. Oh, 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 there we go. So, gotta let it idle out here before we start driving. All right, now it went. See. All right, we just got a little itty bitty patch on the other side of our bin set here. Chisel that up. Just finished up our little itty bitty patch there. Couple acre patch right there. Now we're gonna go behind our uh, barn here and start up on our hill here. Oh, there young Timmy goes. Man, a young little kid wants to help me out. What a good little kid. So I'm going to have Timmy run the 4840 there. So he, I rode around with him on the outskirts of this. So I'm pretty sure he has it down. I'm just a little bit worried he might have some issues turning around. But I uh, told him just to point it straight and go back and forth. Hopefully he'll do all right. I want to get into our uh, 4755. Just because it's brand spanking new and I want to smell that new tractor smell. I'm going to get this uh, cultivator out here and uh, cultivate this little patch. And then uh, hopefully Timmy will be about done with that back patch and I can cultivate that too and get ready for planting. Man, this thing starts up so much quicker. Oh, there. Drove a little bit too quick. Gotta wait until it idles out completely. Yeah, I really need to upgrade our cultivator back there. It's a little bit... It's getting a little age at it, but it still uh, cultivates the ground. Levels out the soil pretty well. Cultivating away. Of course, this thing has all the pulling power it needs for this little cultivator. A chisel for the whiff of it takes a lot more horsepower because it's going deeper into the ground. 
into the chisel or he broke up this hard ground so now we just have to smooth it out would be nice to get a bigger cultivator one day all right we'll fold this thing up and we are ready to head to the other field hopefully timmy is still running all right back and forth there but thank you all for watching and i will see you later here in the 80s thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time